Hello everyone and welcome back to Coder Dave. Today's video is very special. In fact, we managed to get an exclusive interview between Azure DevOps and GitHub. We've tried and asked the most common question I receive on all my social media platforms and on the email. But let me know in the comment section below if you have any other question that has not been answered in this video. If you're new to this channel, here I talk about DevOps, cloud, coding, and Microsoft. Make sure to subscribe right now. Just click on the subscribe button below and turn on the notifications so you will not miss any other videos I will post. And stay with me until the end for some funny behind the scenes. All right, let's see what our two honorable guests have to say just right after the intro. Welcome and thanks for being here today. Thanks for having me. It's an absolute pleasure being here today. Hey, what's up? Introduce yourself. Hello, I'm Azure DevOps, the enterprise-grade DevOps and application management platform from Microsoft. Using me, developers and companies of all sizes can plan smarter, collaborate better, and ship faster with a set of modern dev tools. And also, I support any framework and any language, and also any work style. Hey, get up here. Mm, anything else you want to add? Not really. I mean, I have more than 50 million developers using me and I have more than 100 million repositories. But if you insist, I'm the largest, most well-known collaboration platform for developers in the world. I host all the biggest open source projects there are and I'm really quickly expanding from a source code repository platform to a full uh, development management, source code and release management platform. When did you start? My founders launched me in February 2008, and since then I've just been known as GitHub, and my popularity quickly increased. I counted 1 million developers in July 2010, and less than a year later, in April 2011, I already doubled that. On January 2013, I had 3 million users. On January 2020, so 7 years later, I had 40 million developers. And just recently, the 26th of April 2020, we passed the 50 million developer mark. Not bad, huh? Well, as Azure DevOps, I started in September 2018 when I decided to change my name and I went through a complete rebranding from both interface and features. However, before that, I used to be known as VSTS, Visual Studio Team Services, since November 2015. But that was not my original name. In fact, before being called VSTS, I used to be Visual Studio Online and that was since November 2013. Oh wait, um, actually before that I used to have another name which is Team Foundation Services. So I think that if we put all this together I can say I started in August 2010. I'm younger than you are, but I look cooler. Do you consider yourselves friends or enemies? Definitely friends, very good friends indeed. I'd say almost lovers, um, actually we are kind of a Half brothers, the awesome teams who created me and the awesome people who created my friend over here are now working very closely together to improve us both. In fact, we share many things. For example, GitHub Actions has been built on the technological foundation of Azure Pipelines Engine. Well, I wouldn't say we are lovers, but I agree we are cool with one another. What I like is that we can easily share parts with each other. Maybe you host your repos in GitHub and manage your work with Azure DevOps or your build with actions and deploy with Azure pipelines. Everything is integrated and connected and works seamlessly. You mentioned GitHub actions. How do you help people doing automation? You said it, with actions. Some people think that action is just a build or CI platform, but no, it's much more than that. Actions allow you to automate everything in your workflow. Do you want to greet a new user that is opening their issue for the first time? You can use actions. Uh, do you want to execute security scanning on your code? Well, you can do it with actions. Uh, maybe you want to create a new task on Azure boards for every time someone opens an issue on your repository. GitHub Actions as you covered. And I could continue forever. If you can automate it, you can do it with actions. What about you, my friend? Eh? What? what? Eh? You, you mean, what do you mean by automation? Do you mean actually making things happen automatically? <laughs> Who wants that? 
uh, well, I guess someone could use, you know, Power Platform to respond to some events I generate and then can use some APIs or webhooks to make something to me in response to that event, right? Let's talk about CI/CD. How do you compare actions with pipelines? I think that for build or continuous integration, uh, we have both our pros and cons, and of course we have a different approach, but I say both of us are pretty good at what we do. But when it comes to release or continuous deployment, I'm the clear winner here. Wait a minute, I can do deploy as well. You sure can, you sure can. However, I'd say that your current capabilities are a little bit limited when it comes to release management. You see, people using me and my Azure pipelines can decide if they want to build their pipelines as a code using YAML, for example, or if they want to use the graphical user interface of the classic pipelines. In either cases, they can add multiple environments, multiple stages, they can ask for manual approvals, or they can even set deployment gates that can automatically approve or fail deployments based on conditions like tests, like query, like work items, like API calls, and many more. Oh, and did I mention that my user can also start a pipeline just clicking on a button? My users can start an action workflow manually as well. Well, they'd have to invoke an API, but yeah, they can do it. No one likes buttons. What would you say to someone who starts now? Should they go for GitHub or Azure DevOps? I think it really depends on what they're trying to achieve. If I, myself, GitHub satisfies all your requirements, then go for GitHub. If instead you need something I don't have yet, well, you can go with Azure DevOps. Basically, whatever fits your needs. I agree. GitHub has become a fantastic tool over time and is getting even better by the minute. But of course, the initial focus between us was very different. I've been designed from the very beginning to respond to the needs of companies of all sizes, from startups to enterprises, that had to manage their software project at 360 degrees, from planning to coding, from testing to build, from deployment to package management. GitHub instead has started as an open source collaboration platform focusing mainly on code. And in fact, it handles code and all code related activities like pull requests in an awesome way and is catching up in any other area very, very quickly. It's just not quite as mature yet in some of those areas. Probably the best thing you can do right now is having your code in a GitHub repo so you can leverage all the open source, inner source and social coding capabilities I have. Uh, whether it's for your public project you do in your free time, your open source project or your business critical application of your Fortune 500 listed company. For the rest, just pick what suits you better. Uh, as we both said before, the integration between the two platforms is really seamless, so it just works. And it makes it really easy switching between one feature and another, one platform and another. People are worried that Azure DevOps is going away. Is GitHub the only platform surviving? Absolutely not. Don't worry. I'm not going anywhere. I'm here to stay for a long time. My teams are working really hard to give me even more new features and to improve the ones I already have. And if you go to the public website where we have the roadmap, you can see that there is a ton of new features, upgrades and improvements already planned for the next many months. And also remember that even if Microsoft would one day decide to deprecate me, which would make me very, very sad. They would have to communicate it at least five years in advance. So don't worry, I'm not going anywhere. Yeah, he, he is sticking around. I'm trying to kick it out of the game here, but so far I haven't been successful. Thank you both. I think we're done. Before closing, say something to the other you've never said before. Thanks for giving me the inspiration for my new pull request experience. Anyway, I look forward to working with you more and more over time. I love you, brother. I love you too, buddy. This double interview has of course been done in a kind of a silly way, but I try to squeeze in most of the common question I receive on my social media and by email about Azure DevOps, GitHub and their future. And I hope you can find some of things that are of your interest and you add answers to some of your questions or doubts. But if you haven't, just let me know in the comment section below and so I will try to answer your question as well. I hope you had fun watching this double interview because I had a lot of fun making it. 
If you like this video, please just hit the like button below. Before leaving you to the funny behind the scenes, I want to thank you for joining me today and see you soon at Koja Dave. other you've never said before. Yeah, but you turned before saying before. Well, add your action as shit. Hello, I'm Microsoft. People are worried that Asia DevOps is going. Okay. Social coding capabilities that high... Mm, again.